Hey, Tony here. Today I want to tell you all of the movies that I watched during the month of December, so stick around. So during the month of December, I did do a video of the 25 days of Christmas where I watched a Christmas movie for the first 25 days of December. Um, I did a video if you'd like to check that out. So I will not include those in this particular video. Um, these are the other movies that I watched during the month of December, which was a total of 44 movies in all, including the Christmas movies. So first up, uh, me and my wife watched the three Bridget Jones's movies. We watched Bridget Jones's Diary. Bridget Jones, The Edge of Reason, and Bridget Jones's Baby. Um, the reason why we watched those is because Bridget Jones' Diary was part of the 25 Days of Christmas. And since we were going to go ahead and watch that, I thought we'd go ahead and watch the other two in the series. And we really did enjoy those. Okay, the next movie that I watched was in the theater. It was Spider-Man No Way Home. Really enjoyed that one. I cannot wait for it to be released so that I can check it out again. Um, next up, I watched Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Um, I never did get to see this one in the theater, so I was very happy to check this one out. It was not as good as the first one, but I did enjoy this movie. Okay, next up, I watched a movie that I've been wanting to see for quite some time. It's called Roar, um, about these big cats. We have lions and tigers. Um, I think we had um, a black panther and maybe a jaguar but anyway there's a bunch of big cats and about this family who um, was living with all of these big cats very interesting movie i actually enjoyed the documentary more than i did the movie itself um, so definitely check that out if you're interested in seeing what that's all about okay next up i watched the matrix really enjoyed the matrix it had been a very long time since i ever saw this one um, I think I actually saw this once way back when it was first released on DVD, um, maybe even VHS, um, but really enjoyed revisiting this one. I watched The Matrix, and then I watched The Matrix Reloaded, and then I also watched The Matrix Revolutions, and then I did watch um, The Matrix Resurrection. Um, really enjoyed the movies. I think I enjoyed them more because I watched them all together and um, I really enjoyed the first one the best and then as they proceeded it got kind of worse um, to the end but they were all enjoyable as far as a cohesive um, series of movies. Okay next up was a great movie it was Wait Until Dark. I've been meaning to see this one for a very long time and finally took the opportunity to, to check it out. Really enjoyed this movie with Audrey Hepburn and Alan Arkin. Um, very good story. If you've never seen this, I would highly recommend it. It is an older movie, but very enjoyable. Okay, next up I watched a movie on, I guess, Amazon Prime called, called Being the Ricardos. Um, I've always been a fan of Lucille Ball and the I Love Lucy show, so I really enjoyed Being the Ricardos. It was a very good insight on what was going on during that period of time. Um, so if you enjoy um, Lucille Ball or I Love Lucy, definitely check this um, movie out. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, next up, I watched a movie on Netflix called Don't Look Up. Um, that was a big disappointment to me. I really didn't enjoy it that much. Um, it was entertaining enough, um, but... Um, I, I would definitely not recommend that one. Some people probably liked it, but from what I've seen, a lot of people did not um, enjoy the movie, but it was worth watching at least one time. Okay, next up I watched a werewolf movie called Late Phases, Night of the Lone Wolf. Um, this right here is a pretty interesting story. Um, it is a werewolf movie set in an old age um, community where older people live. So it was pretty interesting. Um, I'm glad that I checked it out, um, but I do not think I'll be watching this one anytime soon again. But if you've never seen Late Phases, I would definitely recommend you at least check it out once, especially if you like werewolf movies. Okay, next up, I watched The French Dispatch. This is one that I wanted to see in the theater, but was never able to get it in the location where I live. So I was very happy that this came out on physical media real quick. So I was able to check this Wes Anderson film out. I enjoyed it. It was very quirky. Um, a lot of stuff was going on during the movie. I, I look forward to checking it out again just to refresh my memory about what all was going on. Um, but if you've never seen The French Dispatch and you like Wes Anderson, definitely check this movie out. 
Okay, next up I watched a Scream Factory title called Rent-A-Pal. Um, I, have, I have heard a few people talk about this movie. Um, to me it was pretty depressing. Um, I think it was kind of dark. Well, it was dark. Um, but the acting was excellent. I think that it was a good story. Just a really dark, depressing type movie. Um, definitely something that you might want to check out. But anyway, Rent-A-Pal, that's definitely one that I would recommend you checking out. Okay, next up I watched, um, on Disney Plus, I watched Encanto. I think that's how you say it. Um, it was entertaining, very colorful, lots of music. Um, if you like Disney animation that they've been doing here recently, like Coco and uh, Moana and all those things, then I think you'd probably appreciate this movie. So definitely check out Encanto if you enjoy the Disney films. Okay, next up I watched The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. This right here is one that I've been wanting to see for a long time. It's been sitting on the shelf for a few years now and I finally took, a, um, took the time to be able to watch this one. Um, Tim Talks Talkies I think was talking about this and had recommended me checking it out. So I, I did finally check this out. I really enjoyed it. A really good story. Um, it does get mixed reviews from um, people, especially on Letterboxd, um, but for overall I really enjoyed the movie, the story, and the premise of what they were trying to get across. Um, it is about the Holocaust and about these young um, kids and this family, so definitely check it out if you're interested in seeing that, or if you've already seen it, I really um, enjoy reading your comments about it. Okay, the last movie that I saw during the month of December was Centigrade. Now, Centigrade um, is another one from Scream Factory, um, maybe Shout Factory. No, it's actually Scream Factory. Um, this right here is about two people who are stranded in their car, and as you can see, it's covered up with snow. Um, I don't want to give away the movie or anything, but it's a very interesting movie. Very, um, it's about an hour and 15 minutes, maybe an hour and 20 minutes. Um, with these two people, so it did get a little boring at time. Most of the time it was kind of boring um, But I am happy that I actually watched it, but it's not one that I'll revisit anytime soon But Centigrade was the last movie that I watched now There were other movies that I watched during the month of well There's other things that I watched during the month of December Of course, like I said, I watched all those Christmas movies. So also during the month of December I did watch a few TV series um, streaming series that I've been wanting to catch up on. I did finally get to see the final season of Lost in Space season four. I really enjoyed Lost in Space overall as a series. I really enjoyed the first season and they kind of um, they kind of got lesser as the seasons went on but overall for the whole series I really did enjoy it and I think season four was a nice conclusion to the series. Another series, another see, another show that I watched I believe on Netflix was Mayor of Easttown. I've been wanting to see this one ever since I heard people talking about it. Um, never had the chance to sit down and actually watch it until this past week and I'm very happy that I did. I really enjoyed the story. It's another one that's kind of dark but a very enjoyable storyline. Um, a whodunit type story. So I really enjoyed watching Mayor of Easttown. And then uh, the last series that I watched was Hawkeye. Um, I really did enjoy watching Hawkeye on Disney+. Plus. Um, it was very good to watch during the holidays. It is kind of a holiday-themed type um, series. And so if you've never checked out Hawkeye yet, I would highly recommend you check it out. It was very fun to watch that. So those are all of the things that I watched during the month of December. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the shows that I watched and the movies that I saw. And I would also like to know what you've been watching. Um, so leave me a comment below. Let me know what you've been watching and what you would recommend me check out during the month of January. I really do enjoy reading your comments. So during the year 2021, I did make it a goal to watch at least one movie a day. So I'm happy to say that I have watched my very last movie for the year 2021. And throughout the whole year, I watched 422 movies in total which was great that I was able to dig into my collection. Um, I do hope to continue doing this. If you'd like to see what all I've been watching throughout the year, definitely check out my Letterboxd account. 
If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.